All right. Welcome, everyone. My name is Scott Urbis. I'm going to be the host today for the February Open Road SIG. I'm also going to be the presenter. If you have any questions as we go along through the presentation, please type them in the chat window and make sure you send them to all panelists. So this month, we're going to continue our discussion on resurfacing, overlay milling, and widening. This is the second part of the two-part series. And before we get started, I just want to go over a few housekeeping items. Um, get a lot of questions on where to find the previous Open Road SIG recordings. You can find the Open Road SIG recordings on the Learn server. There's a learning path on there called Open Road Special Interest Group. You go there and you click on that and you'll see uh, all the old SIGs that we've done over the past uh, several years, I think dating back to, I think, 2017. Um, also, you can get to some of the SIGs through the Bentley Events page. So if you go to Bentley.com and you go to the Events tab, there's a section there. It's called Webinars on Demand. When you click on that, you'll get to a page that looks something like this where you can select your product, your industry, or your product line, or your language. And Select webinars on demand and you can filter for open roads and that'll show you any uh, on demand webinar that's available for open roads and that's where you'll find the SIGs as well. So, and some other things before we get started. If you were with us last month, you Recall that we discussed a lot with the overlay components and the stripping components, and we went over a bunch of different um, examples of those. And today I'm going to be covering more of the overlay vertical adjustment tools and settings. Um, all the stuff I'm covering, a lot of this stuff is in the training course that's on our Learn server. It's called Overlay Stripping and Widening find that course right on the Learn server. There's some videos there. There's a downloadable data set that you can work through step by step. So if you're looking to learn more about this other than what we're doing here in the SIGs, feel free to uh, check out that course. It was in pretty uh, in-depth with a lot of the, uh, the settings and a lot of different examples. So with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and get started with the presentation. So again, this is uh, part two of the overlay milling and widening session. And the whole purpose of this is just to give you a detailed look into some of the tools and techniques that can be used for resurfacing projects. So as I discussed part one, last month we talked about evaluating existing cross slopes, we talked about the different overlay and stripping components and how to set those up in various ways. And we also took a look at evaluating quantities and costs. So if you missed that one, go back and watch the recording. Um, a lot of the stuff I'm doing today doesn't really matter. So, um, so today we're going to cover um, in depth the overlay vertical adjustment tool settings. And we're going to do some examples with that. Take a look at a couple um, real projects, divided highway projects. So we had some uh, overlay and milling, resurfacing type of things going on. I'm also going to sneak in the uh, the best fit profile tool as well. Along the way, you need to do that kind of thing. So. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.